Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1099. Hey, if you want to download the circuit 1098 to 1100, click on the link below the video. Hey, last video 1098, we compared two email lists. We wanted to ask the question, is this email in list one over in list two? And we had a semicolon at the end of each email address. Last video, we just used replace feature to replace it and then we can compare these directly but I want to do something a little bit more dynamic and automated I want to build a formula that can look at this email get rid of the semicolon and compare it either this list to this or this particular email over to this list then I want to have it dynamic so anytime I dump a new data dump here the formulas automatically can tell me if there's a match between the email list now how I'm going to do this is I'm going to create an Excel table convert this to an Excel table then as I add or delete records any formulas pointing at this table and in fact the formulas in the table itself will automatically accommodate expanded or deleted lists all right, so let's convert this to a table. You got to have field lists at the top and empty cells all the way around. Control T. My table has headers. Click OK. We'll add the formula here later. I immediately want to name this table something smart. Email L2 Enter. All right, so now if I click back over here, you can see there is the name. Now let's start over here first and build our formula. I want to ask the question, is this email over there? Hey, I got to get rid of that semicolon. Now I could use the left and then uh, of this and take the length of that minus one, but I think I'm just going to use substitute. So substitute, I can say, hey, here's the text, the old text I want to find. By the way, this is table formula nomenclature. This is the field name in square brackets. The at just means uh, relative cell reference in this table, in this row. The old text I'm looking for in double quotes is a semicolon. The new text I want is double quote, double quote. That just will replace it with nothing. Close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. So now that formula here, you can see there's that table formula nomenclature. It got rid of the semicolon. And that will totally update. If we later uh, remove the records from this table and add some new ones, that formula will self-populate. Now, that's not really what we want. We want to ask the question, is this email that's cleaned up over in that list? So I'm going to use the match function, M-A-T tab. The lookup value, well, that's it right there. Comment, I'm going to ask the question, are you in this lookup array? Boop. F4, comma, and we're doing exact match because this is not sorted. Zero, close parentheses, control, enter, double click, and send it down. Now that match gives us the relative position. So when it looked up this cleaned email, it said, hey, that email is in the 10th position over here. And sure enough, that is correct. The NAs mean it's not in the list. So the NAs are the numbers of the ones I'm interested in. So I simply wrap it in is number. Is number will look at whatever that value is. If it's a number, it reports true. Anything else will be false. Parentheses, Control, Enter, double click and send it down. All right, now let's come over here. Notice here we had to clean up the lookup value, which was just a single email address. Over here, when we compare this to this list over here, we're actually going to have to clean the whole column here in our formula, which means we'll be doing an array operation equals, let's just, uh, well, we'll start with is number match lookup value is going to be this comma. And their lookup array it expects an array of items. But watch this. We're going to use the substitute. That text argument right there, boop, it's expecting a single value. I'm going to give it the whole column. And there's that table formula nomenclature, our table name and field name in square brackets. That's a bunch of values we're throwing into text. It's a function argument array operation. So since there's a bunch of uh, emails being thrown into that text argument, substitute will spit out a bunch of answers. Comma, the old text, 
double quotes, semicolon, double quotes, comma, and then the new text is going to be nothing, double quote, double quote, close parentheses. Now we have to comma, exact match, close parentheses, close. Now we have to enter this as an array formula, so we have to use the keyboard Control Shift and Enter. When I do Control Shift Enter, that's me telling Excel this is an array formula. Those curly brackets up in the formula bar are Excel telling you that it understood it was an array formula and calculated it correctly. Now you want to be careful here. If you forget Control Shift Enter, if I just use Control Enter, it's going to look like it might work, but it's only working because it's of something called implicit intersection. The formula is next to the data set, so it kind of looks like it's working. All falses, that should be a Q there. So you definitely want to Control Shift Enter, look for those curly brackets, double click and send it down. All right, now let's try this. Um, the trues in both lists, that means that email was found over here. This form of this true over here means that email was found over here. Now let's go ahead and see how to copy a list. So the, the semicolons come, you know, when you copy it from the address bar in, in your in Outlook or something. So I'm copying this. Whoops. Control C. And now I want to come over here. Oh, wait a second. If it's bigger, it'll, it might work for our table. But if it's fewer, it might only populate down here. So I actually want to pull this corner up, delete everything here. And I could go Home, Eraser button, All. That means formatting and content. Or Instead, I'm going to use Alt-EAA. Now watch this. I'm just going to click in the cell and paste my new list. Whoops, I have to go copy it again. Control Shift down arrow, Control C. Now right there, Control V. And there is my table working automatically. The formulas were filled all the way down over here. And now I have a different set of trues and falses because this is a different list. All right, there's a few interesting tricks about semicolons, email addresses, uh, ta Excel table feature for dynamic ranges, a little bit of we had some array formulas, but all with the end goal to compare two lists. All right, we'll see you next video.